What's up everybody, my name is Scotty. Welcome back to my channel. And today we're playing some more Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. We're getting into, I wanna say this is technically part two of the trial because we took a little recess in the last video. I don't think he has any reason to lie about that. In the corner of the dressing room. In your dressing room? I thought the window was locked. <sighs> In a rough spot, my guy. Being honest with you. Are we really about to do a whole nother investigation? <laughs> Of course. But, uh, this is the, this is absolute lunacy. I think the fuck not, you trick ass bitch. And that is the security lady. <laughs> My client. Okay. You know what? I see how y'all do in this court of law. Mm -hmm. Honestly, let me tell you how I don't actually know. I'm super guessing at this point because I barely remember the evidence. They said there were only three people on set. And they said it was the guy who died, Will Powers. Well, it can't even only be three because the security lady is claiming she was there when she obviously wasn't there. Unless the assistant is lying, why would she be covering for Will Powers if she knows she did it? That's what's so odd to me. Wouldn't she want suspicion thrown off of her? Also, what if it wasn't even a child? It had to be somebody short. Which I think leaves us the assistant and the grade school kid. Am I supposed to know the answer to this? Because <laughs> I don't. Why is this so difficult? Am I, I feel like I'm missing evidence because I have no reasonable conclusion to make. Because the assistant is saying she was there and the security lady is saying she didn't see her. To me, of those two people, the assistant has less reason to lie. Because the security lady said she didn't get there till one, but she's testifying to all this shit that happened before one. And I'm like, how? You said you didn't get there till one. Unless she was there in the morning and, and she said that at some point and I just missed it. I don't. Who is this person other than Mr. Powers that could have committed the murder? It has to be the security lady. Well, okay, let's look at the court record. Time of death was 2.30. And he was pierced through the chest by a spear. And the spear was allegedly broken. How would... How could it kill somebody if it was only being held together? Unless she fucking duct taped the shit out of it. It had to have been somebody with access. Right? Because even if a kid got through, you have to have a key card to get into that studio so again that leaves the assistant and the old lady and between the two of them 
the assistant has more credibility to me. <sighs> what was the assistant's testimony? Well, I guess it wasn't testimony. It was just a witness statement. She said she saw willpower. She believes he's innocent 100%. You know what? Fuck it. <sighs> Wait, is this actually the answer? I feel like this wasn't the answer. He would have said, nah, fam. <laughs> I think my process of elimination, I think I, I think I did it right. That is correct. To frame him. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I don't think he believes... I don't necessarily believe it's her either. Out of the three, I think it's most likely to have been her, but I don't think she did it. That's interesting. Give Granny a break. I'm I'm still not convinced fully that she did it because usually there's this huge damning piece of evidence. I mean, I guess if there was another photo and she knew it was of her, she would have deleted it and then claimed it was a little boy who wasn't suspicious looking, as she said. But I I don't I don't know if it's her. I'm going to press further. For the sake of argument, I'm going to press... Oh, I don't even have the bougie watch on. See, maybe this is why my luck has turned bad because I'm not wearing the bougie watch. We have it on now. The luck is on our side. The child, Holmes, you said was not suspicious looking. Damn. Oh, bag on there. She bad that life. <laughs> How do we know though? <laughs> yeah, there's, I don't know about that. What proof? Don't you dare. Is it the key card? We could have done this in the last episode. Miss Wendy. <laughs> Something old bag, Your Honor. I'm confused because if this is your star witness, why are you not protecting her? Why is he just letting me drag her under the bus like that? It's very weird. <sighs> uh oh. Talking about what, ma'am? Uh, for the second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh time. Ooh, it was quite a uh, quite saucy on the <laughs> on the soda tree. <laughs> Something I was told not to. <laughs> told by whomst? If it wasn't Edgeworth, who was it? We'll test <laughs> Thank you, Judge. My lips were sealed. 
Interesante. Global Studios. Uh huh. And that's on period. Tell us. Tell us, old bag. Who was it? Who lied on your name like this? I don't feel like I have any evidence to, to use, though. Global Studios wanted me to keep quiet, okay? We are just gonna press everything. The TV big wigs? Really? Sir, this is your witness. How. Do you have control over any of your cases at all? Because it seems like shit just goes bug wild 99% of the time. How is your closure rate so high? Or your conviction rate, rather. How is your conviction rate so fucking high when you don't even know what half the case is? You just pick somebody, accuse them, and then say that's the end of it, your honor. That, it, it's what I said it was. Like, no, that's not how it goes. Who was there? The director, the producer. That was obvious from the jump. I don't remember when I said it, but I remember saying, how are you claiming there were only three people at the studio at the time? Regardless of what project you're working on, people are just going to be there. The director was in the employee area all morning. He joined the producer around lunchtime. They had a meeting after that. In Studio One. Oh, Studio Two, the place that we couldn't get to. Because there's that tree we could have obviously just walked right around to get to Studio Two, but it was blocked off on the path. I don't know if there's anything else for me to ask. Well, for the sake of it, why not? I'm just pressing every statement for the sake of it. In what way? The same way you claim people were or were not suspicious looking? And they get, so you mean to tell me that they bribed you, a security professional, to delete the records of, well, I guess not to delete the records of their presence, but to claim that they weren't there when you clearly saw them there and someone died? <laughs> There's no harm. Mr. Edgeworth. If they were on the premises, why were there no photos of them? I don't think it was her. I don't. Okay, so we've reached the end of this trial piece. I think we can reasonably continue on though. This is gonna be the second part of the investigation where we figure out who actually did this murder because clearly it was not old bag and we've been through that. Well, they said they had spent some time outside the employee area. I think we can go back and look here. Hey girl, tell the truth. Did you do it or no? <laughs> Mm 
Nice job. <laughs> Great work. I think somebody lives here. If they all ate lunch together, why are... I think I fucked myself up. <laughs> because I've got nothing out of this second day of investigating and that is concerning to me. So what am I supposed to do? Nothing has been added to the court record, which is very, very odd. I'm so lost. I have no evidence. It couldn't have been a child who opened the grate. It had to be somebody strong because to bend this is unless I'm just reading too far into this and adding too much external knowledge that kind of grate that's that thick a child could not bend that to the point where it would not fit back somebody grown had to have done that there is nobody here for me to talk to oh she came back <laughs> I'm like, bro, I've come back here 47 fucking times. Hello? Are you okay? Who the fuck is this? What does that even mean? For, for what? 14 M3 RS amateur? What? L what? Le what? Girl, this is a mess. Salmonella. Okay, anyway. What's wrong with you? Why are you sweating so hard? Sir, if you don't put your tongue back in your mouth, I'm gonna cut it out. This man is a child predator. Sir, what do you know about the day of the murder? Go back to Studio Two. Well, also, we can't because it's locked. Damn, we gotta go back to the guard station. I don't see that the the assistant would stop us anyway. Oh shit. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be under arrest?
This is the most asinine shit. Oh, Jesus, who was this little... Okay, little badass kid, what did you see? Who you finna stab, little boy? Okay, so tell us. Little boy, where... What? Where the hell did he just go? Somebody drugged Will Powers. This woman in here vaping her ass off. Bro, this investigation long and shit. This woman is stonewalling me. And I've been recording for like an hour. So I'm gonna go on and cut this here. And resume in the next video. But thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, if you enjoy what I do on this channel, make sure that you like, comment, and then go on ahead and subscribe on your way out. And I'll see you next time with a brand new video.